Hey everybody, um, I'm here for northbound and I'm working on my side by side. So what I'm doing today is I am putting in the Weller Racing block off plate. Let me grab it real quick. Okay, I'm back. So it's the Weller Racing block off plate. I don't know if you can see that. And what it does is it takes that valve that's on top of the valve cover and it blocks it off and that's a recirculation valve that's all it does is recirculate hot exhaust gas into a canister which builds heat under your side by side and yeah it has it makes the machine have cooling issues and all kinds of stuff so i've read a lot about it and there's a lot of positive feedback and i have a wolverine wolverine x2 yamaha yamaha 1000 so I'm going to get this thing on here. It's supposed to only take about 15 minutes. And then uh, once I get that on there, we'll take it for a ride and see how it does. Okay. So I pulled the first screw out. It's right here. Went right in here. Got Loctite on it. Still has a lot of Loctite on it. So I don't think I need to put any Loctite on it. So let me get this out of here. Yeah, one would think they had crossed threads. There was so much Loctite in it. All right. So we got it off. Now I got to get in here and this clamp that's right here, I need to take off to take this hose off, this hose right here. So this you don't use anymore. Let me go and change, put that in there so I get this closed off. I don't want any debris getting in there. Here's the block off plate. So I just take a screw that was in there, pull it back through. It's got dowel pins right there and recesses. So it should be all good. One thing you want to make sure you don't do is what I've been doing like three times now, hitting my head on that. Now when tighten these things down, it's just aluminum to aluminum, so you don't want to tighten it down tight. Six foot pounds is the measurement. Get it snug, about that tight. Snug, about that tight. That's all you need. Okay, let me get some pliers. Let's get in here. This is a little tough to reach, but what I want to do is I want to get it over here so I can get at it a little bit better. And get in here. Slide that off there. And get it rotated a little bit. There we go, it comes right off. So this is what you got there. So then we got a little piece of tube right here. And this little piece of tube right here goes on the end of this. I'm going to put a little WD-40 in there so it slides on. Alright, got a little WD-40 on there. Let's get this thing to slide in there. There we go. Now it's just sliding right on. All right. So now they give you two zip ties. So we're gonna wrap the zip tie around there, put it on there, 
Use a zip tie tool and we'll be done. This way it might be easier to get at from the bottom. This way will be better. All right, so there we go. And that's all there is to connecting that up. Get this stuff out of there. Okay, so Weller Rest Racing makes no claims about this, but um, there are tons of feedback in there. And basically they're saying it runs cooler, starts up better, um, lots, of, lots of different things. So we'll leave that to see what really happens for us. One thing I notice right now is it's significantly quieter right off the bat. I should start up letting it run. The valve noise is a lot different. Um, yeah, it, it sounds a whole lot different. So we'll go for a ride and then we'll see what it's like when we get uh, out on the ride see if it runs cooler like it's supposed to so here we go okay so that makes it a whole lot different as far as the riding experience goes so that is a lot quieter I can't believe how much quieter it is um, it's smooth and quiet um, it hasn't even gotten up to the temperature uh, to turn the fan cycle on yet and normally it would be fan would be on by now so yeah really good I gotta have to see what the performance difference is um, but right now um, I just switched into sport mode from track mode track mode um, I was about like track mode I couldn't really tell any difference but I'm gonna run down the road here and, and see what um, it's like in sport mode so let's go Okay, so sport mode, I don't know, it seems about the same to me. I don't really see much difference in, um, you know, the uh, spunkiness of it. Sport mode is always really spunky. I have heard other people say that theirs popped before, 
and that this kind of got rid of the popping, but I never experienced that with mine. A cell, D cell, I never had any popping. Um, they probably fixed it by now. So all good as far as I'm concerned. So first trial ride, I give it a thumbs up. Quieter, cooler, those are both good things to me. So we'll see how it goes from there.